Alright, so in this tutorial we're going to be learning about Z buffer testing. Okay, so OpenGL has a small tool to help you with perspective. Everything else is going to be right by ourself. And let me show you something. So you notice that it draws um, the square first and the triangle, actually draws a triangle first and then it will draw the square. However, let's say that the square was a negative Z, which means that it's farther than us. You know, it's far. It's it's pretty far into the screen, you know, negative, hold on, okay, back, so you see it's negative, you know, far, and then if we go to draw a triangle, let's say that it was all one, which means that was like really in our face, well, the square is behind the triangle, right, and you see, okay, oh, wait, where's the triangle at, I thought that the triangle was in front of the square, we have to do something called Z buffer testing, and it's really easy, like, I know it probably sounds hard, it only takes a few commands. So, we're going to have to do something, we're going to have to enable a few things. We're going to have to call GN, GL enable, and then we'll have to do ZL def test, and then GL def mask, and we're going to have to do GL true, right? So far, it doesn't do anything because we're not done yet. We're going to have to go to um, draw handler, and then right here, have to do the bitwise um, gl um, def buffer bit, and then when you run it, what will happen is you'll see okay, red square is still in the front. And in fact, actually, I'm a little confused as to why that is. Maybe because the uh, triangle is too in our face. Th let's just make it 0, 0.0. Okay. 0. Huh. Maybe we um, draw a handler. No, that, that should be correct. Main. No, uh, go on. Enable. Where's enable at? Maybe I forgot about... Maybe you have to do false? No, that's not right. Sorry, guys. Um, so, let me see. GL. I know it's GL def func. Wait, no, that should be true. Sorry. True. No, huh, GL def, um, I'm trying to remember what else it could be, GL def, range, no, I, I'm almost, yeah, no, that, that's not right, I, I'm almost certain it's def mass, perhaps it's this one, def, test. I, I'm almost certain that's what it is. But apparently it's not working. So, um, draw all. Yeah, that, that's not correct. Draw a triangle. In fact, let me even see something. Is it even drawing the triangle? If you were to mask out the draw square. Yeah, it's drawing the triangle. But for some reason, it thinks that the square is in front of the triangle, which is not true. Okay, um, let's just put the triangle in front. Let's see what happens then. Oh, okay, okay. I think I see. Draw a triangle. Draw a triangle. Make this positive real fast. Um, I don't know entirely what's happening. Normally, I don't. Because with my other OpenGL projects, that's all I had to do, and it worked. So, let's just make that 5, okay? Uh, uh, I'm confused. Huh. Perhaps it's, um... Let's, let's go back to draw handler. 
We have that, that's correct. Let's get rid of this push matrix thing. And let's get rid of this pop matrix thing. Huh. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna guess that I, I, I honestly don't know what's going on. Um, I, I hate doing that. Like, I'm trying to teach something and then I, I hate, I hate it when I, something goes wrong and, you know, I have to give up and all that. Yeah, Donald Triangle should be in front. Man, let's try putting the triangle smaller. Yeah, see, and look, that's really weird. When the um, square is closer, for some reason it draws a triangle first. Yeah, when the um, square is, triangle is, you know, closer, it draws a square first. I don't know. See, you can see that the square is closer than the triangle. The triangle is at 0.25, whereas the square is 0.5. Just a little confused about that. Oh well, um, I guess I'll look into that and I'll tell you guys what's wrong next time. Until then, see you later.